Diane Chu at Green Bank, story of Diane Chu moving to Green Bank. Who is Diane Chu, why she moved to Green Bank? Diane Chu was a PhD doctorate, working on an Iowa research farm with her husband, Bert. One day she woke with a harsh thumping in her chest, palpitations of the heart. Within hours, she felt as if someone had tied a thick rubber band around her head. Then came nausea, fatigue, ringing in her left ear. An onslaught of maladies, all at once, and she had no idea why. She says, I was trying to come up with every excuse in the world for what was happening to me. Moving is stressful, but the symptoms just kept piling on. She saw an internist, a neurologist, then a psychiatrist, and still had no explanation. The doctors said, if we can't test it, it doesn't exist. In 2003, Shu had identified the cell phone tower near her home in Iowa as the culprit of her woes. She is an electrosensitive. Suffering from electromagnetic hypersensitivity due to the electromagnetic frequencies that radiate wirelessly from cell phones, Wi-Fi networks, radio waves, and virtually every other modern technology that the rest of society thinks is indispensable. When she complained to company and government officials, she couldn't get any action. She spent months living in a Faraday cage. A wood-framed box with metal meshing that blocked out cell signals, more typically used by scientists conducting experiments in labs. She even considered buying a repurposed space suit so she could get out of the house without pain. She says, I was told it would be $24,000. I don't have that kind of money, and what if it gets a hole in it? Shu and Bert drove hundreds of thousands of miles across the United States looking for a safe place to stay. They spent time in Sweden with relatives, the first country to recognize electromagnetic hypersensitivity as a disability. It was a national park ranger in North Carolina who ultimately told Shu about Green Bank. Shu tried the place, living in her car behind Henry's quick stop. The transition wasn't easy, she says. Coming to Green Bank was a culture shock. If you want to have Starbucks and shopping malls, you won't survive here. But for Shu's there was no other choice. She felt much better inside the quiet zone. The couple found an unfinished home and sold half of their Iowa farm to buy, finish, and rewire it. In 2007, Diane Chu became one of the first electrosensitives to move to Green Bank. It wasn't long before Diane Chu became the electrosensitive gatekeeper of Green Bank. It's the town without Wi-Fi. Fellow sufferers heard about her and spread the word, and soon she was letting visitors stay in her home when they came to try the place out for themselves. The residents of Green Bank, West Virginia, can't use cell phones, Wi-Fi, or other kinds of modern technology due to a high-tech government telescope. This has made the town a paradise for technophobes and electromagnetic hypersensitive people. In Green Bank, you can't make a call on your cell phone, and you can't text on it, either. Wireless internet is outlawed, as is Bluetooth. It's a pre-modern place by design devoid of the gadgets and technologies that define life today. It will stay that way. The town is part of a federally mandated zone where a government high-tech facility's needs come first wireless signals are forbidden. In electromagnetic terms, it's the quietest place on earth, blanketed by the kind of silence that's golden to electrosensitives. It's become a refuge for them. Over the last few years, Electrosensitives have flocked to the tech-free idol in West Virginia, taking shelter beside cows and farms and fellow sufferers. There's only one road to the town, it snakes through the Allegheny Mountains. Where the forest ends, the town begins. The valley opens to cattle farms and old wooden barns, a post office and a library, a bank and Henry's Quick Stop, a combination gas station, convenience store rustic interior décor shop that houses Green Bank's nearest approximation to a sit-down restaurant. At the northern end of town is the other visible curiosity in Green Bank besides the telescope. A rusted payphone. If you're not from there, it's the only way to reach the rest of the world. The quiet zone is a vast place, much of it made up of national parks and empty space, the whole thing roughly the size of Maryland. 
the little town of Green Bank has come to feel smaller and quiet than ever. Thank you.